What's happening, everybody? Tim again. Tim's ComputerFix.net. How is everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. This is an Acer Predator desktop computer. And the issue we're having with this is sort of like a power cycle. You can see basic light on power supply. I'm really not sure what the specs are. Haven't gotten into that yet. Couple of sticks of RAM, just a, looks like just a mechanical hard drive and uh, that is a GTX, uh, looks like a, I think that says 1060. I'll look a little closer there. But um, that's what we have here. So let me show you what's going on with this guy. Let's see. Plug it in. We'll plug it in. Okay. Got it plugged in there. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, power it. No keyboard or anything because uh, uh, no need to at the moment. And I'll, and I'll show you what happens here. So power it on. Got a light there, and it goes off. Wait. Power on, power off. Wait. Power on, power off. So, we've seen this before, right? But this is the odd thing. So it's going to so it's going to continue to power cycle. And I've got it, this camera close enough. Hopefully, you can hear it clicking. Just listen. One more time. Right. So here's the odd thing. Power up, power down. No fan spin. That fan doesn't spin. I can't tell if the... Okay, I can see... Let's see if you can see that. There, There is a fan... That CPU fan, I mean that video card fan, does spin up and down. The processor fan does not. And the clicking sound actually sounds like it might be coming from this CD drive up here. <laughs> Which is odd. Let's see if I can get that to eject. I doubt it. Nope. I don't even know. What does this do here? Oh. Ah. What is that? It looks like a place to put an extra drive here. Let's see. Open that up. Okay. There's nothing in there. And let's see. Inside here. Here's your DVD drive. And that's what I'm hearing clicking. At any rate, we got to now troubleshoot this and figure out why it's semi power cycling. So let's unplug this. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> it's got to close. Uh, we got to unplug this, cut the power, and we're going to lay it down. Well, this will be interesting because I take several different steps uh, in different orders. This time, I'm going to go directly at that. That is just a cheap looking power supply to me. What wattage is that, by the way? That is 500 watt. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's what I'm going to start off with. We're just going to disconnect this CPU power header there. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect this 24 pin. You know, that's in a really bad spot. They got me there. Let's see if I can get my hands down in there and pull that. That's tough. Hmm. Gracious dang. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So that's any kind of power disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and pull this power. 
off of the power supply off of the uh, video car sorry and let's just hook in a nice fresh test power supply hopefully I guessed right the first time if not we'll take further steps once again our test power supply CPU plugged in 24 pin plugged in graphics card plugged in this this is the old power supply the test power supply is just laid out to the side with everything plugged in um, just for the heck of it I'm gonna go ahead and plug in our HDMI here Oop, wrong one just this one okay I'm gonna put our power supply up on its side there a little bit just to uh, make it the wires a little bit more loose there I'm gonna power up the power supply and that power supply kicked right on that power supply is on I got stuff coming uh, air coming up through the fans there I can feel it so I didn't even have to press the power button Let's see if we get any light here yeah, well, we do. It's doing the same thing. Power on, power off. So guess what? Probably is not the power supply. Now the question is, where do we go from here? Let me disconnect this test power supply, get back to the original configuration, and uh, we're going to go to the next step. We have eliminated the power supply as being the problem. At least we think for now. Most likely the power supply is okay. Okay, so I've got the original power supply and everything hooked back up here. Um, so what, a couple of things I'm going to do here. I need to start eliminating components just to get an idea. And anything connected to the board just, just to troubleshoot and get an idea. Uh, I'm going to start off with, first of all, here's what I'm going to do. I want to probably go ahead and eliminate this graphics card. Uh, it's not that I suspect it, but you know, it's just one way. It's one way to a step further in troubleshooting. But what it does by removing that, it gives me better access down here to these plugs, to where I don't I don't have to you know fight with the video card. What I and so what I'm going to do also is I'm going to pop in just a basic video card in there. Just so, you know, we can at least recognize post if it happens. Um, and in doing so, since I'm swapping cards, and in case it does post, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the cables to the hard drive. And that way it won't actually try to boot up with a different card and maybe cause some driver issues or whatever. Okay, but I'm going to start with that. Okay, one thing I spotted after taking out that video card. Look at there, an M.2. That is a 128 gig drive. That's most likely what the operating system is installed on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. We're going to go ahead now and pop in this test card just in case we get a post all right so now you know I see that our USB 3 is down here I'm going to go ahead and remove that yikes okay what do we have here? Um, that's just a front panel header there. And here's the front panel audio. I'm just going to remove that. Just eliminating things from the board. Um, and I think we'll go with that. 
I don't have any drive plugged in except for the, the there's a CD drive. I'll leave that plugged in for now. So then we plug in our power and let's see what we get. Power plugged in. I get an instant on, which is odd. Just like the test power supply, I have an instant on. I got air coming through the back. No CPU fan. I got the GPU fan steady spinning. And let's see what we got. We got a steady light here. Steady light. I guess it would help if I plug in the... Let me go with this one. Let me power it off. Let me let me plug in our monitor here. I'm gonna go VGA with this. Just for the heck of it. Plug it in one more time. Still don't get no CPU fan. Let's see if I get a post here. Yeah, see I'm not it's not uh, flashing like it was, but we're still not getting a post. So you know what my next step is going to be? I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe clear the CMOS here. Unplug it and we're going to clear the CMOS. But this is a big, big concern to me. Um, that's, that's not good. Could possibly point to a motherboard issue. All right. Let's try clearing this CMOS. Okay, so to clear CMOS, right down here is a CMOS battery. And we just got to pop it out. All right, and those CMOS batteries basically just pop out. You just take a little pry tool. Sometimes there's a little button or lever you push, but in this case, you just pop it out. We'll move that like that. Then you have to remove this out of the way here. Then, you, then we have to determine, and you have to look closely on these motherboards, there is a, there's a clear CMOS jumper on every motherboard, at least for desktops, uh, not so much for laptops. But in this case, our clear CMOS jumper is right here. So we just need to... Pick up on the jumper and we'll move it over one slot this way. Okay, so we moved it over, we moved it over to the other pins there. Give it just one, two, three, four, five, ten seconds or so, and then we'll jump it back. Jump it back over to the, where it was before. You want to be sure you always put that CMOS jumper header back where it was before you add power to the computer. And then we'll go ahead and just put our battery back in. I think we will. Yep. All right. There goes that. Okay. Now that we got that done, we plug in our power supply once again. And uh, we're going to see if there's any change at all in anything. So we got a video plugged in. We'll go ahead and hit the power button down here. Um, still no fan spinning here. Uh, this isn't looking good, everybody. I believe his uh, motherboard is in bad shape. For whatever reason... No post. I mean, honestly, there's not much else to try. It's power cycling. I got the CP, the, the uh, video fan is spinning on and off. Hear it? That just turned off. Now it's on again. So we're power cycling here. I've cleared the CMOS. 
I mean, bad ram would, would not be causing this. I mean, I could take the ram out. Just, oh, we got a beat. Okay, now that's odd. It's not power cycling anymore. How about that? Yeah, we definitely have something going on here. Still no post. No post. So let's power off. You got something going on. Disconnect the power. Let's just pull one stick of RAM here. Plug it back in. Plugged in now, power on. You know what gets me is this there's no There just is no CPU fan spin and that's really a problem. No change. Power down. Let me pull this CPU fan header. Power on. Yep. No. Not good, guys. Not good at all. So I'm going to call this most likely a dead, a bad motherboard. Something let go on this motherboard. We're not really going to get much further with this at all. There's not really much more we can really try. Uh, without that processor fan spinning up, that's definitely a major, major malfunction. Um, nothing else would be causing that. So in this particular case, everyone, we're determined it's just a bad board, bad motherboard. So we can either get another one or move on from it or whatever. But that just showing some of the troubleshooting techniques that I use when we get computers in like this. So, well, looks like we lost this patient. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope I helped somebody out in some sort of way. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.